It's 7 a.m. I mean, the first dress got here. Day. I took the shelves down. I think they're shrink wrapping the couch because when I got delivered, they weren't able to put it in the elevator and they had to take it out of the box and it got so dirty. So I'm really hoping that this is going to stay clean during this move. And hopefully they don't hate me because this is definitely going to be hard to carry out. Then the desk, the mirror, the rug, we have the couch in here. Same thing. Probably needs to be shrink wrapped or whatever it keeps it clean. Look at Sophie being her little project manager self. She's so cute and she's being so good right now. And we have these like rental boxes from U-Haul. They just took down a bunch and then they already took down the TV stand. We left that door open because we can't forget to bring that love seat out. Um, the coffee table, the rug, the bed. It's a mess guys. <laughs> but basically we just want them to take like the big stuff and we're gonna worry about our clothes and like the small stuff later. We brought this bike. Well, this was like one of my childhood bikes. And <laughs> we brought it with us to Austin. And the last apartment, it was just like on our balcony. But here they have this like whole bike room. So we put it in here when we moved in. And <laughs> we never used it. We never got it out. And it's still here. There were some break-ins. So we were like, ah, oh, must be us. But it's here. And Ryan remembers the code. So it's coming with us. We are in the house. It took kind of a long time for them to pack everything up, but they packed it up pretty well. Um, shrink wrapped everything. I hope the white couches are okay. I think they are, so that's good. Um, but this is a moment of truth. We're seeing if our couch even fits in here because originally we like measured it out and we we're like, there's no way our couch is this big. But now seeing it, I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> Got a big couch, so we'll see because the TV wall is right there. It's like slanted, so it's kind of like a interesting situation. So we'll try to play around with the layout and everything. Yay. Yeah. The mirrors are going upstairs to go. Oh. Uh, oh. These fishes go on the outside. Let's see. Um, you can put that stool in there. Mirror. Um, mirror. No, it's fine. Just okay. So maybe our apartment was bigger <laughs> because it just looks like this is taking up the whole living room. But as you can see, it's very dirty. So I think we need to like vacuum it before we put down the couch over here. But I forgot my vacuum at the apartment what'd you say you yeah i was thinking that too yeah we can use our green oh i brought my green bristle yeah. it's in the car yeah i made the executive decision to put this carpet somewhere else because this is just going to be too high traffic of an area and it's already so dirty <laughs> but also like we've been eating at the coffee table for the past literally four years but i've had this rug for maybe i don't know a little over a year i think anyways it just has so many crumbs on it and it's probably just not smart to be eating on it and just like Again, in a high traffic area. So, it's probably going upstairs in the loft. Or my office. Either one. But I also have an office rug already. This needs to be cleaned. I think I also want to clean this really well. Try to, like, shampoo it or something. I'm not even sure how you, like, clean this, like, Moroccan type of rug. But we'll figure it out. I did a quick Google search and I forgot these, like, rug cleaning videos exist. And so I think I'm going to try to clean this rug myself. We'll see. <laughs> so, I might have to stay downstairs for a little bit. But let's go see stairs i told them to put a lot of the stuff in the dining room because we don't have any furniture for here and i want to show you guys upstairs really quick i still need to stain these i think we're going to try to get another stain because we got one and it was just way too orange okay this is the loft a lot of our stuff is in here i think the couch is going to fit nicely like turned around obviously like right here facing that wall what do you mm. think and then i love see oh dang they didn't put it outside there's a trash out there. Oh, okay. Oh, Ryan's office. Uh, back Sneak home. peek, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, my shelves, yeah. What do you think? Stuff's so echoey in here. I thought that it would help. Yeah. What do we do? I don't know. Should I need to like, look it Google, up. Like, -echo Wait, why does it look so much taller and bigger with the things in here? <laughs> Yay. You know what, Rye? Your room is kind of giving Vera Bradley. Thanks. 
She's that bitch. <laughs> this is literally like the brown with the blue. You guys know. You guys know. No, Miss, I have a Vera Bradley purse. Yeah, I definitely did have a Vera Bradley wallet. No. Remember we'd go to the outlet? Or were you worth? Were you with me? No, 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 no not the started. Orlando one. When we were in uh, Dustin on spring break. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the moment of truth because the guy said this in every moving vlog, but we want our bed to go like that way. Or like, I guess, our heads would be on that wall right here. But the room's made for, well, at least the outlets are telling me that the head should be on that wall. But we're gonna try this wall first because I just would like this space to not be like so cut off, you know, like that. So, I don't know, I feel like it looks like it could, but also the bed frame that I'm looking at does have like a lot um, of a side. I don't really know how to explain it, but like this part of the frame is like sticking out, so maybe not, I'm not really sure. I'm so happy it fits this way, guys. We're a little worried. Good morning, it was our first day waking up in the new house and I've been kind of just like slowly unpacking this morning. Uh, we woke up pretty early, but it's only 9.33 and also it's fall back day, so the clock's changed. So we got an extra hour of sleep. I unpacked like four boxes already. I just don't know where to put it all because I don't want to put it back into um, like where it came from because I kind of want to declutter first. But basically a lot of what was in the boxes right now was in this little TV stand and I have no idea where I'm putting that. There's a bunch of clothes everywhere, but <laughs> I don't really like that dresser and I FaceTimed my mom and she didn't really love it either. So I definitely want to get a new one, but that's not a priority. So I think we're just going to use it for now. I went ahead and like put, you know, my socks, underwear, sleep stuff in there. Um, and I also think we should get a bigger TV. Um, also because it's not a smart TV and I love smart TV so much. The downstairs one is a Roku and it's so good. So I don't know, we'll probably wait till Black Friday to get a new TV if we are, but it just like looks a little too small because our bed's all the way here and we'll probably put it on a swivel. Bed setup I showed you guys yesterday um, and today we definitely need to get some curtains. We have, I think two panels back at the apartment but two panels would really only cover like one of these windows. And I think that we should probably put them downstairs first and then later we can get the upstairs one. But last night it was kind of creepy. So if you're moving into a new house, definitely get some curtains before 
you spend the night <laughs> because it's just not the vibe. There are blinds. Um, I think, I don't know where they are actually. They might be on the porch. We were deciding whether to like salvage them or just like throw them out, but maybe blinds in some areas will work, but definitely curtains in here. And I kind of want like bougie curtains. So we'll look for those. And I want the ones that have like the blackout part and then the sheer part, kind of like a hotel where you can like choose because I love how the curtains in my apartment right now, they're just like the diffused ones and it like, you know, nicely diffuses the lighting when I want it to be diffused. So it's not too harsh, but that is all the updates for now. Ryan made a fire this morning. It's so nice that we have this. I'm so excited for Christmas. This is making me want to buy like a Christmas tree or Christmas decorations. We don't have much, but I never really had somewhere to store it, but I might put them up like in this week because we won't be here too much during the holidays. So I kind of want to get this place decorated while I'm here. But yeah, I mean, kind of looks the same as yesterday pretty much. Um, and here are all of the plastic bins. So I'm just kind of going through them, but all of this stuff right here was in that like TV console thing. And I don't know if we are gonna get rid of that or what, or like where it's going, so. I'm just like kind of in a lull right now. And then this was in my desk, but Ryan took my desk. So I will have to decide where I'm putting all of that. But I did go through all of these boxes over here. That's Ryan's box, so he needs to figure that out. Um, he's actually on a call today. Even though it's a Sunday, somebody wanted to chat with him. I do need to put that bike outside. But I also love this mirror, and I think this is going to look so beautiful in this space. At home, my parents have like mirrors in their dining room, so I think it's so cute, and I don't know, it just like elevates the vibe a little bit. Some of my friends want to come see the house, so they're coming a little bit later today, and then my other friend Nancy is going to come tomorrow, and she's super into interior design. She's also a YouTuber, and like she's on TikTok and Instagram and all that, and I was like, please help me because I am so overwhelmed with just like what to pick like i know what vibes i like but i like so many different kind of styles so i don't know what to stick with because i want everything to be somewhat cohesive but there's so much empty space which is definitely a great thing but that's just more money i have to spend so like right here what the heck do we do with this space right here ryan said a bar cart and i am so against that right now because it's just gonna look so cluttered. Like we have a whole house, it's not an apartment, so we can put the alcohol somewhere else. I'm so excited about getting a breakfast nook table here, but I just do not know like what. Should I get a white one? Should I get a wood one? I don't know, because in the bedroom I have so much wood, but it doesn't match the floors now, so I kind of want to get rid of all of it. I don't know, so many decisions, but uh, I don't know if I showed you guys this. Ryan mounted the TV yesterday, and it's on a swivel thing. So I can kind of like swivel it out if I'm making something in the kitchen. Actually, it might be at an okay angle already, so maybe I don't have to swivel it up, but that's always a nice added bonus. I just remembered <laughs> all this needs to be unpacked too. It's a bunch of just like soup can and then just some pantry stuff. There's so much more at the house, but a lot of it is already opened and I need to like tape it somehow. Um, but let's start on this because I feel like this could be easy to just throw in here. back at the apartment we wanted to do another round of just packing up stuff and bringing it over this is the current state of the apartment the kitchen definitely needs a lot of work and then i'm actually working on my bathroom right now we have to take our suitcases over anyways so i'm gonna fill it with all my beauty stuff hair tools are already in there i cleaned out three drawers already so we're making some progress i honestly am just like throwing it all in there and then we'll figure it out later because i don't even know like where i'm gonna put all my stuff our current vanity really does not have any storage so we'll try to figure it out when we get there back from the apartment and ryan got us tacos for lunch we got youtube tv so we're not doing cable anymore and Ryan's excited about that. <laughs> I really only watch live TV for Bachelor stuff. That is it. No cost extra, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then obviously him for sports. But um, we have a new favorite taco spot. Unfortunately, it's like literally right next to our last apartment. <laughs> it's, really? it's not that far from like where we are now. And literally, we could have walked there this whole time. But their barbacoa is like way fattier than Las Troncas. So 
We used to go to Las Chancas on East Cesar Chavez, right? Mm -hmm. And now this place is called Beto's. They do have a couple locations and I'm telling you guys, the barbacoa is just like so fatty and so good. And I also like their pastor. Where'd you get two pastor and barbacoa? I got two barbacoa and one pastor. Guys, this barbacoa oh, makes my mouth water. And Sophie, you ready for the scraps? No, I am. I always do the green. I think it's less spicy than the red. Mukbang. Is it mukbang or mukbang? Mukbang, I don't know. When we were over there, like, we just really have to, like, get all our clothes out and clean the bathrooms out and, like, like, overall, there's not much left, you know? Especially since we- Not much left. Well, yeah. So, since we got all the good stuff over here, just, like, a bunch of the little stuff. But we have, like, a good amount of time to bring it all over and clean that apartment. Yeah. Very cool. We have kind of a dilemma <laughs> because Ryan just went to Best Buy and bought us a new TV. This is a 65 inch, right? Yeah, that's basically. So we got another 65 inch for the primary bedroom upstairs. But then he was like, I think the new one is probably better, right? The new one's like newer and nicer. So I think we're just gonna switch these out because obviously oh, okay. I think we're gonna watch more TV down here. You think so? Yeah. Do you need help? Oh, nice. Sophie, come on. <laughs> okay. This is the new one we got. This one's a TCL, right? Yeah. And this one actually broke. Yeah, honestly. I think this was our first post-grad investment <laughs> and it's done as well, except for the time that it broke and we had no idea what happened. Basically like the power went out at our apartment and it just like would not turn back on so we had to take it to a tv repair we're just gonna put this one downstairs because i think this one is just like has better specs and everything guys ever since we bought this tv i'm obsessed with smart tvs and get really annoyed when hotels don't have smart tvs because <laughs> i'm like hello it's 2023 friends are here <laughs> it's a new day and we are doing a couple of errands. We're finally returning the U-Haul boxes. I, what? Who's Aaron? I unpacked like a lot of stuff. Honestly, I should have vlogged, but it was super late last night. I think I just get more stuff done. Like I have more energy at night um, and I just like knock it out. And today we're heading up to the U-Haul place in Cedar Park. It was annoying that we had to drive all the way up here, but we're also going to make a trip to Living Spaces because I found a beautiful bed frame that I really, really want. But I want to look through their color swatches in person just to make sure I'm buying like the right color and everything. You know what? We should have brought a wood plank. Like we have so many random wood samples and we should have brought that because then it would have been easier to like um, match it, I guess, to the floor. Well, it doesn't have to match, but kind of just like be cohesive. No, I think it was in your... I think it was in your car. But anyways, so we're doing that. And then we're also probably going to H Mart because it's up here too. And it's kind of far away from our house so we never really get to go here. H Mart is an Asian grocery store and they have like sashimi grade fish. Sometimes we'll make sushi with it or like even just poke bowls with it. So I'm very excited for that. And also we should get the king oyster mushrooms dry for steak night. These mushrooms are so good and they're very expensive at Central Market, which is like one of the only places I know to find it. First, before all of our errands, I was craving boba tea, so we're gonna go to Happy Lemon. I've actually been here before and I got a passion fruit green tea. My friend Shireen said they make theirs with like fresh passion fruit, but I think I ordered the wrong thing last time because it wasn't with the fresh one. So this time I'm gonna make sure I get the one with the fresh passion fruit. I was in high school, my sister put me on to Hoodie Allen. Ryan doesn't really love him, but he has some good songs. I wonder if he's still making music or what. The boba tea is good, but on like their website, it had some like fresh passion fruit, like seeds and everything at the top, and it doesn't. So that was kind of a letdown. 
So I really thought it was gonna be like fresh fruit in my drink. Definitely satisfied the craving, so now we're going to Living Spaces. Living s- <laughs> Ryan! You bamboozled me. We don't need you. Living Spaces. We're in North Austin right now, and I'm not kidding when I say like all the trees are like turning fall colors up here. <laughs> And not really like in central and south. Like all of these trees are like orange and yellow. I'm very confused why our trees don't look like this yet. Maybe they're not busting. There's so many of these gigantic stores up here. Like I feel like we could spend hours in this one living spaces store. They don't have the bed frame on the floor or like in the store right now, but they said that this is the color of what the bed frame ones look like, I guess, the color online that I was looking at. And now I'm thinking it's like a little too dark. What do you think? Like on camera, it looks lighter, but in, in, um, in person, I feel like it's a little darker than I wanted. So we're gonna go through the swatches and see if there's something. I feel like the clay is kind of going out of trend. I don't want something that's too trendy. It's too dark. I definitely want something more neutral. I do kind of love an olive green, but I don't know if that's like a trend either. Okay. I don't like this one. Mm, it's white like ours now. What do you mean? We don't have a. This is for a bed frame, not a couch. Yeah. yeah. Well, or even like this. I don't know. They just say this uh, color was out of stock. I wonder if we can pick something that's in stock so we can get it sooner. That would be nice. This is massive. Like we are literally in the back of living spaces and it's massive. <laughs> what the hell? Thumbs up or thumbs down? It is 6.50 and it literally feels like 9 p.m. because the sun sets like a lot quicker now. It's so annoying. I swear I thought we weren't doing this anymore. Like I literally read an article saying that it wasn't gonna happen anymore. But anyways, tonight has been a big decision night because I finally decided to go with someone for the bathroom renovations. Um, let me mute this TV and catch you guys up. So I got a bunch of quotes and I wanted to first off saying that I was extremely overwhelmed with just like even knowing who to go to for renovations or anything that I wanted to do with the house I'm like, how do I know who to choose? So then I remembered that Thumbtack exists If you guys don't know what Thumbtack is, this is not an ad, but it's an app um, That you can like find people like almost like a Craigslist kind of thing um, I feel like I trust Thumbtack a little bit more. I actually used to be on it when I first moved to Austin I put my photography services on it and I got a few leads through it So I decided to try it on the other end. These people are like professionals. They're actually like companies Pretty much all of them came to the house to check out um, the scope of work and both of the bathrooms because I want to do the master bathroom and the guest bathroom and I actually found out that you can ask for a discount if you do them at the same time um, so a little hack there for you one random thing that I wanted to share is that I didn't realize how petty these people can be because one time I had um, one company like at the house and then the other guy was early so he saw the other company being there and Ryan's mom was like honestly this is probably good because then they'll be more competitive with their rates and she was right because this guy was so petty he was just like oh what are those guys doing for you like i'll i'll beat their price like all the stuff i just i don't know i didn't like appreciate the um pettiness and just like the way he was going about it i was like oh this is just like not professional and like didn't give me the best vibes honestly um so then it came down to two guys i have kind of just like been putting it off because i've been like deciding on so many things i didn't really want to think about a bathroom renovation even though i want to do it i just like have no idea where to start i have so many things that i like on pinterest but i don't know exactly what i want so i just don't want to rush anything and um so i've been putting it off i finally told myself today was like the deadline that i had to decide at least who i was going with I responded to something a little bit petty it honestly just rubbed me the wrong way because i was like i don't know what you want me to do like after you say that like do you think i'm just gonna be like oh yeah never mind like you're right i'm gonna go with you um 
like no <laughs> i did go with my gut on this one i haven't paid anything i don't have to pay anything until they demo it i think that's when the first payment's gonna be due so now i'm kind of thinking maybe i'll push it till the new year because i feel like there's just so many little things that we can get done um while we wait and i don't know the bathroom is fine for right now i've like been using it the past two days the only thing i will say is that there's not really much storage in the vanity part because one side's like um a makeup area and it, it doesn't have any drawers and then the other side is like one cabinet and like two drawers that are super small so there's just not much storage there but like there's a big linen closet literally right next to it so it's fine i do think i'm gonna do both the bathrooms at the same time and probably just get like a lifetime membership or a planet fitness membership um so i can shower there and you know i think it'll be fine for two to three weeks i think that's what he said um how long it would take them to do so that is the update on that it'll be exciting when that happens but like i said i just do not want to rush anything i want it to be really nice but i also don't want it to be trendy i want it to be timeless and i just don't know what that is yet ryan's the type of guy that's like do whatever you want like you know do whatever makes you happy which is great most of the time but then i'm like oh my god i just like want you to like guide me i guess or like justify me a little bit so i did make a pinterest board and i want to show him all of like what i'm thinking there's just so many vibes on my pinterest board it's like open to the public so you guys can like check it out if you want a little sneak peek of what i'm thinking but yeah so that's the update on that and now i thought we could buy my bed together because that's another thing that i need to do why wait because i'm gonna buy it anyways unless they're gonna have a black friday sale should i wait oh wait guys like it literally says black friday event shop now like what the heck black friday is one friday these people are crazy it's like the whole month of november is like sales <laughs> i do think i'm gonna go with the living spaces one what's cool about this bed is that there's storage underneath it let me show you guys since it is like upholstered all the way around and like the whole bed frame bed skirt i don't even know basically the bottom part of the bed it is like sticking out a little bit and on the wall right now where we have our bed there's not much room between like the bed and the nightstands and then like the door kind of comes out onto ryan's nightstand so hopefully it fits honestly maybe we should measure before but I kind of want new nightstands anyways, so maybe we can just get like skinnier ones. Um, but it's saying that it'll be delivered December 5th through the December 19th. So hopefully it gets just delivered earlier because I think we're leaving to go to Georgia for Christmas, obviously. A few nights ago, I bought my washer and dryer. I just ended up buying it online even though we went in store. Um, but I was just like checking like five million times that i was buying the right thing i feel like especially big purchases like this it, i get so anxious that i'm like i don't know clicking the wrong thing or something's wrong like different color i don't even know i believe the washer and dryer is not returnable um unless it has like defect so i was a little nervous buying those but that is going to get delivered on thursday oh and another thing i got was some tiles for the laundry room slash pantry I'm actually going to do stick on tiles. I really hope it works out because these were way cheaper than probably just like normal tiles and they look really cute. I'm going to save it as a surprise for what it is, but definitely follow me on my Instagram stories if you guys want real time updates because I'm honestly doing a lot of polls and you guys are giving me such good advice, especially for the washer and dryer. I posted that I have to get a top load for the washer um, and i was kind of upset about it because i wanted like a new high-tech one basically we don't have too much room in the laundry room so just like a top load would be you know easier and they were also like less deep and so that's what we needed for it to not stick out too much i'm a little nervous for them to get delivered because i know it's still gonna stick out a little bit because the dryer was a lot deeper than um the washer which i didn't know and they only had the washer in the store so i didn't see the dryer right next to it but you guys told me that it's actually better to have a top load because the front load gets like more moldy and it's hard to clean and all the stuff guys please tell me why i did not know that you had to clean your washer and dryer what the heck i know you have to like take out the um like dryer vent is that what it's called like the i don't know stuff that gets in it like i know that okay 
do I take it out every time? No, I probably should. But I did not know you had to clean your freaking washer. I also found the most perfect breakfast note table. I had my friend Nancy over yesterday and we did like a little interior design session um, because she's really good at it. And so I found this table on Burke Decor. It was like, you know, a lot of money. And then she was like, you should reverse Google image it. So basically like screenshot it and put it in the Google image app or Google app. You can, there's like a photo icon that you can upload a photo. And I found it for, let's see, is it $200 less? A little over $200 less on Kathy Kuo Home. I popped in the first name of the table and look at all these that came up. They're actually all different names. At least most of them are. And this one, as you can see, is 960. This is the one I was originally looking at. 1,000, pretty much 200. Like, what the heck? Same exact table. But look how stunning this is. It's like this marbly tabletop. And it's like warm, not too cool toned. And I'm just hoping it's like a good size. Because I did roughly measure it. There's a larger one. But I think that's going to be way too big. So... I am most likely going to get this. I just, again, need to pull the trigger and hit purchase. Ryan's cooking our first meal in the house. And his steak, of course. And mushrooms. And mushrooms, yeah. We got these from H Mart. They're the king oyster mushrooms. Can you stir around the garlic a little bit? Oh, shoot. We don't have, like, any of our kitchen yeah. stuff here. We don't have any spoons. Oh, there's a spoon over here. I'll get it. Oh, that works too. Smells so good. Tomorrow we really need to get our kitchen stuff. <laughs> We're using paper plates. We started the American Horror Story like Halloween episodes. I think there are only four. Even though Halloween has passed, but they're still really good. It is the next day, it's noon, and I'm still in my PJs. Honestly, I've had a very productive day. Even though I'm in my PJs, I filmed an ad, I edited and posted a video um, on YouTube, which I am definitely backed up on um, the YouTube videos. So my apologies there, but I feel like with moving and all this stuff, um, there's just not been <laughs> enough time in the day. Last night we watched the American Horror Story like Halloween episodes. It was the newest season, but there's only four episodes. And we watched the last two and guys, they like really messed me up in the brain. <laughs> like I was not in a good mood last night because I was like just freaked out and like, it was just not good. But we got the closets done. I'm excited to bring all of our clothes over. At least that was the plan for today, but it is currently disgusting outside and it's actually raining today. So it's a smart idea to bring clothes like in the rain i mean i guess i'll be taking it from like a parking garage and then i guess i could park in the garage so i could do that today um but i also need to get like all the kitchen stuff because i feel like that's really what we need i mean I de i'm definitely running out of clothes but i can do that this weekend um but i just like kind of want to start filming like tiktoks again and like fashion content and so that's why i really want my clothes over here and just to feel a little bit more settled and that's really the only necessities that we need from our apartment is the clothes and kitchen stuff i had to stop myself from saying that today is a big day because i've definitely had the urge to say that a lot but honestly this is just like a big month this is a big year um but today we are getting our washer and dryer that we purchased from home depot luckily it did not take that long at all i think we purchased it online like sunday night and today's thursday so they're coming today and i believe that i only paid for one of the washer i think to get installed and not the dryer because ryan was like all figured out because it was like way more expensive to get that one installed i always feel weird filming like the delivery guys but the washer and dryer are in i am so happy right now because we definitely thought they were gonna like stick out way more the only thing is with the dryer this is like the dryer vent, so they didn't actually install either of them because apparently I didn't pay for that, even though I literally swear I checked it off, at least like the washer. I checked off one, and then I also added a few um, accessories that I bought, and they said I didn't. And I texted Ryan because he's on a call right now, and he was like, yeah, I literally watched you do that, but whatever. I wasn't charged, so we can just get it at Home Depot. I don't know what all these accessories are. I guess these came with it. But then why didn't the other things come with it for like the installation? That doesn't make sense. Anyways, back to this thing. Um, this is like the dryer vent. I may be totally wrong and like butchering all of this, so I'm not a professional and don't take any of my advice, but but at Home Depot when we were looking at washer and dryers and telling them like our measurement restrictions, they said that you have to have like a good amount of space, like four inches in the back of your dryer for this outlet right here. 
And I recently asked them and they were like, yeah, they have flat backs, so that shouldn't be an issue. And the guy that was just here, he said that you don't really need this big of it. And the guy that was just here actually recommended something called a flex vent. So it's more easily bendable and hopefully it doesn't take too much space up. But look at this clearance, guys. I really thought it was going to stick out like a tiny bit. And so I'm very, very happy right now. Look. Perfect. Well, again, this is not installed yet, so maybe I should wait to speak. But, I mean, even the washer is perfect. So this is from Maytag. And look, it even has Wi-Fi. So I still got my high-tech little gadgets. Once Ryan's done with this call, hopefully he can, you know, try to get these set up. Because I feel like we have so much laundry back at the apartment that we need to bring over here and start doing. All right, we are putting in closet rods. Oh, almost. This one is way too long. We're gonna have to like make two glue together, I think. This one is just like a hair too long, and that one's just a hair too long, so. The rods we have, he just needs yeah, to cut those. We got them fixed up now, hopefully. We'll see. We do need to glue this one, but we can probably rest it in there and see if it fits with the full one. So mm -hmm. you have a full one for me. So we use two here. Nice. It'll look great, but it'll work. I feel like when clothes are all on it, you won't even notice. Yeah. But is it secure? Yeah. Nice. So we didn't have to glue anything and we didn't have to buy another rod. Yeah. <laughs> I cut it up like sometimes. <laughs> Here, it yeah. Nice. Good job. Sorry to mess with me, actually. Huh? Sorry to mess with the stash of being in the... Yeah. No. Yeah, the Ryan did a great job. Take it on myself. Give your help in Sophie's help. <laughs> Ryan helped me carry in everything, and now the house is back to looking like a mess because I tried to clean up a little bit in the kitchen this morning. The first things are going in. We can always reorganize it later. I have no idea. 